Hello and welcome back. Broken Law Follow is a psychological first-person horror game that immerses players in the haunting narrative of Anne as she grapples with the issues of self-acceptance, bullying and worthlessness while encountering metaphorical surreal creatures that heighten the terror of her journey. Sounds terrifying. Let's go. Was that terrible? Was that like really passive aggressive? <laughs> Should I do that again? What am I doing here? Why is my house so... strange? It's like... the memory of a dream. I need to figure out what's going on. Am I in danger? That's a lovely picture. Did I draw it? What a happy family. Um... What did I say? It's a psychological first-person narrative where we uh, we are Anne, I think. Wait, wait, can I open the cupboards? No. Okay. Ooh. What, can I leave the room, maybe? I don't know why I thought, I thought something terrible was about to happen there. I really did. Nice. No tapes for us to watch today. Can we play the piano? That would be nice. No, we can't. What? 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 Oh my goodness. I thought that t-shirt was a person. It's not. No. Alright, well. Oh, there's a note on the Christmas tree. Maybe that's what we need. Dear Santa Claus, this year mom told me that I can ask her presents only if I get good grades at school. She loves me so much. I've been a good girl and I really like the red dress I saw in the beautiful store near our house. Can I have that? Thank you, Anne. I was eight when I wrote this letter. How is it here? Mm -hmm. Mom should have thrown it away a long time ago. What does it mean I don't understand? Ah, maybe you're crazy. Oh wait, can we? Oh. Is that is that us? Hey, okay. it's a nice picture. Book. This book. I can't believe it. Camilla was crazy about history and mythology in elementary school. She never stopped talking about it. She lent it to me, and after we argued, I never gave it back. It makes my blood boil just thinking about it. It sounds like whilst she's speaking, she's also whispering behind it. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if it's meant to happen, but it sounded like she was whispering at the same time. Are you the pink I got to cook for Christmas this year? <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. Come on, Bat, you're wrong. That's so rude. Oh, God, my classmates were so mean yep they were they were terrible Thinking back makes my stomach churn is the narrative experience how Anne becomes a serial killer because i'm kind of i'm kind of here for that is that Anne? is it a metaphor interpretive Oh, I absolutely wanted to look like there's her. There's someone behind me. I adored her. It feels like I'm a child again. All of this makes no sense. But maybe I'm just dreaming and I'll wake up soon? Maybe. I doubt it, though. Oh, everything's red now. Everything's red and fuzzy. Why is it fuzzy outside? Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure. I don't like it. Still can't go. I don't know why I want to go through that door. I well, that's rude. Heckin' rude. Ooh. Go, go. 
to go. I don't even know where we need to go, but I feel like we need to go. Oh, that door's shut now. That door's shut. It was open before. If I just walk straight ahead and I don't turn around, nothing bad can happen. Right? Right? Who's knocking? Well, I'm just going to assume that that's fine. Do I have a flashlight? I Was there always stairs? Am I stupid? That's all good. That's fine. It's really good. That's helped a lot. Red, a colour in Western culture, is a powerful symbol of aggression, power and danger. This intense and vibrant colour can be overwhelming, blinding and threatening. Yeah, but it can also mean love. So maybe it's just a misunderstanding. You know, what you're, mis you, you're mistaking aggression for love. Ah... Uh Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of History with Anne. Today, we'll read a page in the Great Book of Humanity, understanding how history has been written over time, shaping reality. <laughs> in this episode, we'll seek answers in Norse mythology. According to these ancient beliefs, the earthly reality we're experiencing is just one of the many realms in the cosmos. Connecting it to the realm of gods is the Rainbow Bridge Bifrost, thrown between the sky and the earth. This solid strip of seven colors connects humans to another reality and its wisdom. When at the end of the world, the Rainbow Bridge broke, humans lost this knowledge. In our era, perhaps we no longer believe in these old myths, but we can still ask ourselves, are we truly connected to reality and its knowledge? <laughs> I'm glad she shut herself back I in there. I don't understand. No, I have to just lock it. Set it on fire. How did I end up here? I, I hate her. Hate her. Oh, oh, no. No, no. No, no, no. Mm-mm. That's, that's, that's. Oh, I don't want... Mm. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. That way. Oh. Is there any way I can not... Okay. We didn't even brush them out of the way. We just walked straight through. An old and mysterious key. Why would I turn that off? No. But red is not just this. Red is also love, passion, desire. It's the color of the beating heart, the blood flowing in the veins, life pulsating. It's the color of determination, willpower, the courage to face challenges. It's the color of transformation, change, rebirth. Okay. Okay. Okay, well that little girl had a red coat. What does that mean? Can could she not have given me something useful like a flashlight? Instead of whatever stuff she was spouting. Yeah, turn that on. Red, therefore, is not just a colour. It's a journey, a path of growth and discovery. It's a symbol, a message, a guide. It's a challenge, but also a promise. It's the colour of danger, but also of salvation. It's the colour of aggression, but also of love. Ultimately, it's the colour of life itself. What if you're colourblind? I, friend, oh, 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 clever. No, 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 I do not, I don't, I don't, I don't need another Betsy. Do not need another Betsy. Nah, uh, nah, nah, no, 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 she's, no, she's the last thing that I want. What? I don't know where I am. Oh. Do I really not get a flashlight? Maybe I walked past one. Ugh. I love 
you so much. Uh, nope. Nope. Mom, do you like the doll I made at school? You made that? Oh, magnificent. Teachers always know how to make you waste precious oh, time. Oh, magnificent. They don't understand how important your future is. I can't believe I was so blind. I mean, but depending I on how old you are, it's, it's, uh, it's all right. How could I realize what a monster my mother is? Huh. There's something inside this doll. I need to find a way to open it. Just rip it. Rip it with your bare hands. Anne and Camilla. I don't know why it keeps giving me the option to turn off the lights. Cool. Uh. Oh. A door. Okay. Um. That's fine. That's all. This is all real good. Oh, this is very quickly gone from not to a hundred. Maybe we should watch the TV again. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. In a present? Scissors. Present. Present scissors. I'm so stressed out. I'm so stressed. Can we turn the lights back on? Maybe just a little bit of light. Normal light. M me. Okay. No. Okay. That's fine. This is. I'm looking for scissors. Um, I have a task. You can't get me while I'm in the middle of a task. Oh, what is this? No. Ah. Uh, yeah, that is exactly what that is. Oh, oh no, again, I thought that there was a little white light there. There's no scissors in this house. This woman doesn't own scissors. See, this was my house. There's like scissors everywhere. Not in a weird way. I just, I seem to have a lot of scissors. And they have specific spots where they live. And if someone takes them and doesn't put them back, I get very annoyed. I really don't want to go back up here. Is she gonna pop back out with some scissors? Lady. The the spider hallway? Does the spider hallway have scissors? Scissors. Anyone for a scissor? This is. Is this really dark for you? Because it's very dark for me, and I could very easily be like walking past scissors and not seeing them. Can we not just rip the thing open? It's so dark. I just... Hey, look, it's not that dark anymore. I can see things. Maybe I'll be able to find some... This room's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Okay. Anyone wants to explain to me? There's a door here. Couldn't see it. Couldn't see it. See, I was gonna put the brightness back down as soon as I found the scissors, but like, I missed a whole door there. Okay, well. I'm uncomfortable. No, though. Why is the music stopped? 
Oh, that's unpleasant. I'm waiting for that tiny doll. Tiny horrible doll. Why? I don't want to be here. Because I haven't quite gauged what the game is yet. You know? Like what kind of scares I'm expecting. And where they come from and stuff. Oh, I'm just very uncomfortable. I don't want to. That seems fine. Perfectly fine. Well, we could leave. We could just leave. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I just, I'm just gonna walk past. Hi. I'm just gonna keep going. Oh goodness. Um. Okay. Liz, the door's gone. The door's gone now. Oh, well, thing is, um, you know, whilst, oh, I'm sure we'd be very good friends, I just think that maybe we should go in separate directions. Maybe you should tell me where the door is and then we can... <sighs> Guys, I just needed some scissors. I just needed a pair of scissors. Whatever happened... I didn't see it because I was hiding behind a door. Monster. Uh, me? I don't think I... I don't think that's me though. I don't think I'm... It. That's a very dark corridor. It's very dark. Ah. Well, that's hurtful. I mean, um, that noise, no, I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise at all. Whatever's making that noise needs to stay far away from me. What is that? What is that? What does that say? Stressed. I'm so stressed out. <sighs> no, whatever, whatever is making this racket needs to pack in. Really needs to pack in. I'm doing a cozy game after this. I don't care. Were they always there? Thank you. I did actually need them. Shut up with your knocking. I don't care anymore. <sighs> Did we have to cut its head off? lighter okay. excellent so we're gonna go light some candles no i cannot see my inventory 
Let's just try clicking some button. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm coming for you. But it's the dress I wrote about my letter to Santa Claus. Is it really? That's the dress that you wanted from Santa? In the end, I've been good and my parents have bought it for me. I wouldn't I have picked it. I looked fabulous when I put it on. Too bad my classmates teased me to death. I, I do get it. I remember. I get it. I do get it. I was so upset that I tore it apart. I can light this candle. What a weird thing to keep in, in this room. Um, the door has gone. Okay, bye. We're going this way now. There's only one way. One day, something will be there. <laughs> My goodness, what the balls is that? Do I run? Do I run? Uh. Hi. Oh my goodness, no. I. Okay, well, bye. I guess. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, electronics and water probably aren't a good combination. Burn what? The tree? I'll burn the tree. I like this little voice there. Burn it, burn it, burn the tree, burn the tree, burn it. Burn it. I would. Burn the tree, burn the tree. It looks like a dead tree anyway, to be honest. It's going to go up. <laughs> That's fine. She's not nearly as bad as Betsy. So that was Broken Law Follow, um, suitably spooky and terrifying. Uh, there isn't a release date for it yet, it's still to be announced as of recording this video. And as always, if you're enjoying the content, please give us a like and a sub and comment below what you want to see next. And um, that's it.